Rejoice evermore, for this is the will of God. Rejoice evermore, for this is the will of God. Rejoice evermore, for this is the will of God. In Christ Jesus concerning you. Sing Alleluia to the Lord of God. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Sing Alleluia to the Lord of God. Enter his courts with songs of praise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who teaches that you abide in the hearts, that you are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James, chapter 2, verses from 1 to 9. My brethren, show no partiality as you hold the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man with gold rings and in fine clothing comes into your assembly, and a poor man in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothes and say, Have a seat here, please. While you say to the poor man, Stand there, or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brethren. Has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and theirs of the kingdom which he has promised to those who love him. But you have dishonored the poor man. Is it not the rich who oppress you? Is it not they who drag you into court? Is it not they who blaspheme and honorable name by which you are called? If you are really fulfilled the royal law, According to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do well, but if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law of transgressors. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Response are you some. Let your response be. This poor man called, the Lord heard him. This poor man called, the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast, the humble shall hear and be glad. This the poor man called, the Lord heard him. Glorify the Lord with me, together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me, from all my terrors he set me free. This poor man called, the Lord heard him. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abush. This poor man called, the Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. 
this poor man called the lord heard him gospel acclamation the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark glory to you o lord gospel of saint mark chapter 8 verses from 27 to 33 jesus went with his disciples to the villages of caesarea philippi and on the way he asked his disciples who do men say that i am and they told him john the baptist and others say elijah and others one of the prophets and jesus asked them but who do you say that i am peter answered him you are the christ and he charged them to tell no one about him and he began to teach them that the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and after 3 days raise again and he said this plainly and peter took him and began to rebuke him but turning and seeing his disciples he rebuked peter and said get behind me satan for you are not on the side of god but of men the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ the unexamined life is not worth living socrates difference in christ jesus men are identified with their own needs and their own merits the men are identified with their own merits and deeds when one person calls you saying you are a great man you just reflect after that word what do you mean by the great man if you are a great man what kind of greatness is there with you are you great in education or a great person in money or in the position or by doing the atrocity you are a great man what kind of great man you are after every good work we need to have some uh, feedback right after every good work we need to have some feedback whenever we you do the good work you need to be appreciated by some millions it doesn't mean that you are given a high post but it is to give boost that you do the good work again and again so jesus also wants to know who is he therefore he asks his disciples who do the people say that who is jesus jesus didn't ask the first question to the disciples who do you say he asked who do the people say that i am and people and the peter and all the disciples have said lord someone said you are the john the baptist and some other said that you are the elijah and some other said that you are one among the prophets so let us analyze why do the people recognize jesus as a john the baptist as elijah and one of the prophets first let's take off john the baptist you knew that john the baptist was beheaded and even that man who beheaded john the baptist was fearing about jesus teaching because someone said that john the baptist came again he was resurrected and then he was fearing of jesus because jesus was teaching authoritatively and when we look out this elijah who is elijah for whom people were expecting jews people were expecting that elijah would come and why do the people expect this elijah malachi chapter 4 verses 5 to 6 we read god sends the prophet and elijah elijah goes before the place and prepare the place he says great and awesome day of the lord is preaching is the great and awesome of the great of the lord because the lord is going to come his announcement is preaching is this the elijah's preaching is this that lord is going to come and john the baptist preaching also is that the lord is going to come so both of them were preparing the way for the god for the god to come 
and give the freedom from their sins and from their slavery that is what people were expecting and elijah's elijah's mission is to bring people to the reconciliation he says the hearts of the father to their children he was sent to return to the hearts of the father to the son and to the son's heart to the father so they turn from the turn away from the lord and elijah is calling once again to the people saying you come to the lord because lord is so merciful therefore elijah was sent and he was as we know that he was taken up by his body and soul so they were think jews were thinking the resurrection was expected and to happen at the end of the time so when elijah appears there is a end of time that is what they are thinking so people were thinking when elijah comes then afterwards messiah will come after the messiah there is no world everything is filled so therefore they were telling that jesus is elijah um after the third reason at the passover the door will be kept open and there will be a new cup for the elijah people may think that elijah would come and have a cup of wine that is what they are thinking at the passover after the elijah's coming the messiah will come these three reasons they were telling that elijah jesus as elijah and it is peter who recognizes who says that you are the messiah who is supposed to come and then only the disciples understood that people were longing for whom people were longing is he is jesus christ therefore dear friends let us understand why do the people have recognized jesus as john the baptist jesus as a elijah a jesus as one of the prophets the john the baptist you know he knew that he calls the spade as spade which means he never says a lie he doesn't fear about anybody else even to the authority therefore jesus is called as a john the baptist so dear friends in this holy mass let us ask that we also behave as a son and daughter of our lord jesus christ we will also say the truth to stand for faith of ourselves in lord so in this holy mass once again let us beseech the god's grace that we are there in the bosom of god and we are we will enjoy the goodness of the lord for this grace we pray during this holy mass Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this obtain, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will, the source of eternal reward, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ the word through whom you made all things whom you send as your as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of the death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god, god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed a holy o lord the founder of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given out for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks and he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of christ we may we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church has spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis the Pope and Nidhina the Bishop and all the clergy remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary the mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son our lord jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen and the savior's command and found by the divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace nowadays, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Make me a servant, humble and me. Lord, let me lift up those who are me. And may the prayer of my heart always be. Make me a servant. Make me a servant. Make me a servant today. Even though you were in the form of God, you took the form of your slave. You accepted it. Even on the cross, so God exalt your name. Make me a servant, humble and me. Lord, let me lift up those who are me. And may the prayer of my heart always be. Make me a servant, make me a servant. Make me a servant today. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your Lord. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. No winter was an island, journey through life alone. Since we are both now by your mother, Jesus, Jesus gave us his soul.